What are narratives in therapy? Narrative therapy was coined in 1990 by Epstein and White. It involves an individual telling their story through a new, creative, and therapeutic way. As Paul Bacor stated, narratives are a way that a person can put their life events into a perspective that makes sense to them. I read an article by Lonnie Gretty that the goal of narrative workshops are to overcome the social construct in America and American culture regarding hiding our pain and suffering. The purpose of the therapy is helping individuals with pain and suffering to overlook these social constructs. So um, if we don't happy, have happiness in our lives through creating narratives, we could um, gain more flexibility and elevate our stories. Does this allow them to change the meaning of their stories? So narrative therapy sessions are a place where people can feel as though they have, have others to listen to their story and it makes them realize that they're not alone in their journey of pain and suffering. This is why the sessions are meant to feel as though it's a journey along a courageous path that you will embark on together. I heard that although each member has their own story to create and explore, there was a great support offered between group members. While members are able to focus on their own stories through different art making like collages and mandalas, um, I heard that there are four stages following through the sessions that include separation or severance from the ordinary, liminality with its aspects of fear or darkness, grace and light stage, and the final stage. Is that true? The first session is pretty laid back and it just consists of an introduction of the participants and the participants talk about their individual experiences and stories and then what brings them to the group. It seems like the first session would form a connection between the members of the group and make us think about questions like what really makes us individuals and what we want to do with our lives. Let me tell you about a second session that Lainey reflected on in the article Healing. One of the individuals in the group brought in an image of a person half awake, partially emerging under the comforter. The individual depicted feeling unsure about awakening, avoiding emerging into the world in the sense. This individual was going to therapy because of their child that had a mental illness. In the session, they also looked at severance objects. These are objects that symbolize something that a participant feels that they should let go. The severance, severance objects were to be placed in a circle and then stories were told regarding what that object symbolized to them and their personal stories. Interesting. I heard this is also when there's a written task regarding liminality, which leads us to face the unknown. And I heard the homework session was to create four collages that depict why we numb our feelings. And I find this really exciting as culturally we are taught to suppress our feelings. So the purpose of this homework assignment is to get the members to explore feelings that they feel they have numbed due to social constructs. This can bring about feelings that they never took the time to fully explore prior to this activity. This is an important part in coming to healing and forgiveness. I heard in the third session, the homework assignments has to do with forgiveness and are the participants really asked to create a second self portrait focus on our pain and suffering while still writing? about forgiveness? So we ask that the participants write about the act of forgiveness and what matters to them in life. Again, incorporating art into therapy, we ask the participants to create a Mandela. This homework task might seem daunting, but the purpose is to lead the participants out of the darkness that we've previously explored while we begin to bring them into the light and healing. I read about a participant in Lonnie's article that created a picture of a woman with a wounded heart covered by spears to represent her broken heart as a widow. So she also expressed how reading the heart of the spears would allow her to heal. So I see how this would be something that matters to the woman in her life and something that uh, she could make peace with. Yeah, so that kind of ties into the fourth session. The fourth session is about sorrow's gift, release, and transformation. We kind of do something out of the ordinary as we have the participants write down events in their life that they feel they should meet with forgiveness. We then have the participants burn the piece of paper mix the ashes with water, and then water a jade plant. The metaphor here should be apparent. As we water the, the plant, we provide it with good nutrients and allow it to flourish and transform. This re represents the transformation that the members, a part of the narrative therapy group session, are experiencing as well. So it's almost like the participants are uncovering their struggles and turmoils through narratives and they are putting their pain to rest through allowing forgiveness. 
I'm assuming the fifth session will be focused on reflecting a new meaning of life. And maybe the fifth session would show the participants as feeling like they finally connected to others again and realizing that they were never suffering alone. We start off by reviewing our homework like always, and then we have a discussion regarding ways that we can keep our lives happy and healthy through connecting with other people. We represent this through lighting candles, and then we add our candles to a circle. And this reinforces the idea that we're all connected to each other through our pain and suffering. For the final homework assignment, I would ask the members of the group to take a mythic walk while they search for answers to questions like what in my emotional being holds me back and what helps me. Then at the end of the walk, I would ask the members to create a self-portrait that depicts how they feel. Remember to look for symbols and metaphors on your walk that answers your questions. You really begin to see how telling narratives help you through your healing process and this is portrayed through the artwork that you create now in our last session we finish it off with a meditation walk oh um i heard it's based on a labyrinth that was in the Cartres cathedral um do we also meet in a church hall yes so the walk itself is actually meditation we would ask that you walk quietly and you reflect on the previous sessions and how you've transformed through these sessions as well the idea of narrative telling as a type of art therapy doesn't seem so daunting anymore.